this is Harold Everton. Today we're going to discuss whether or not it's a good idea to pick up the iPod Touch 6G here in 2018. And by the way, when I say pick up, I mean purchase. The damn thing ain't that heavy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> The iPod Touch 6G came out in 2015 alongside the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. They're all cousins, they all feature the same A8 processor except in the iPod Touch 6G, that CPU was underclocked to 1.1 gigahertz. Why not do that and force you to get an iPhone if you want the full iOS experience? Like its iPhone 6 cousins, they all feature one gig of RAM and come in 16, 32, 64, and 128 gigabyte storage options. It does come in several colors. As you can see, mine is white and silver. You can also pick it up in gold, blue, red, and space gray. My iPod Touch 6G is running iOS 11.4.1, which is the most recent version of the operating system at this time of recording. However, it did originally ship with iOS 8.4, making it one of the few Apple devices that will make it through four different upgrade cycles. That's iOS 9, 10, 11, and in a couple of weeks, 12. The cameras on the iPod Touch 6G are not gonna go crazy about in 2018. The rear facing camera clocks in at eight megapixels. You get a 2.4 aperture. You also get 720p video recording for smooth, crystal clear quality videos. The front facing camera clocks in at 1.2 megapixels, also does 720p for nice crystal clear FaceTime chats. The cameras are capable of doing panorama, time-lapse video, and slow motion. You also get some nice autofocus, image stabilization, and face detection technology. Take a look at some of these beautiful photos and video footage that I took using the front and rear facing cameras on my iPod Touch 6G in downtown Manhattan around Canal Street on a beautiful summer, sunny, August day. Here I am walking around the gritty yet past streets of the Lower East Side, not too far from Soho. That's the max zoom. Now while on paper this device may seem underpowered for 2018 spec wise, in normal usage everything ran quite snappy. I have to say this, as long as your apps and games do not require an insane amount of resources, you should be just fine. As a joke, I tried to install Fortnite knowing very well that this device couldn't handle it, and I did get the error message stating that I needed at least two gigs of RAM for the game to run. Boo hoo. I love the way this device feels. It fits easily into the palm of my hand and in my shirt pocket. If you're looking for the full iOS gaming experience, this might not be the ideal device. The screen clocks in at four inches. That's a resolution of 1136 by 640. That's 326 PPI. If you need a lot of space, you might want to look into the iPhone or iPad. And these days, an iPad will set you back 299 bucks. So $125 for this baby might not be ideal. However, because it is very convenient and it's a unique device, I still think this should be on your radar. I do hope that Apple does release an iPod Touch 7G with updated specs because this is a truly unique and very convenient device. So the question remains, should you pick up an iPod Touch 6G? Well, if you're someone who owns an Android device or a Windows phone device for that matter, and you're trying to get a taste of the iOS experience but do not want to drop a thousand bucks on an iPhone, well, if you have $125 to burn and you don't mind getting one refurbished, then this should be on your radar. You can still pick it up for a buck 99 in the Apple Store right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. It's actually peace. I don't know why people say peace. Hey, this is Harold Everton for Everton Media. Thanks for checking out this video. By the way, please do be kind and click that subscribe button for access to news, music, new content, commentary, tech, and if you're lucky, you might even get a video or two in color. By the way, if you're looking to promote your product, service, or business with unparalleled energy, do check me out on Fiverr.com. I am a top-rated seller there.